Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Back onto the uh, sort of repotting front now. I haven't got very many that I would class as I really ought to do now sort of thing. Um, a lot of them are just because they've got some moss in at the, and they were done at the beginning of last year. It might be nice to do them again during this year. But if they have to wait till late winter, early spring next year, two years with reasonable quality moss is not out of order. It, it's okay. Um, providing it doesn't stay wet constantly all through that time. Providing it's allowed to head towards almost dryness, so just damp, then that'll be fine. If it's soggy for that length of time, it will have gone off by then probably. So you have to go careful with how wet the moss is going to be. So um, this one, however, has not been repotted since I got it. Because every time it sort of came into the position where it could be repotted, <laughs> it flew in bloom, didn't it? Well, for once, because of the accident I had and broke the... Um, the largest cane and broke the top off which reduced it in height a bit and may stop it ever blooming but nonetheless it's a fully leaved cane so it's very very useful to the plant but it may not bloom on that cane. Anyway this is Dendrobium infundibulum it's very very tall but I'm doing it in my small tray because although it's tall it's not big you know it's not going to take up it's not like doing a cymbidium or something. So we'll swing the camera around, get it out the pot and have a good look at what it's in because whatever it's in, it's going back in. It's done very well in whatever it's in. So I'd like to replace it with whatever that is. It's probably just bark. Um, I'm just trying to think, did it come from Burnham's? Probably did come from Burnham's actually. It's jammed in this clay pot <coughs> to stop it falling over. God, it's light as a feather. <laughs> we don't need that, we don't need that, and then we just hope that it lifts out. Let's get my tag out. Um, we do have a cane in here which I will remove. So that doesn't look like anything to do with me. With brown string on, that doesn't sound like me, does it? It's got a little clip here as well. So we get the cane out of the way first. That's that. And the bits of string, that's like waxy string, that stuff, so that's definitely nothing to do with me. And then we've got this little clip, which we will pull out. And then we will see if it will come out of the pot. It's probably got an awful lot of roots. So say it's been in there quite a long time. And as the new canes have grown on it, it, you know, it would have... Um, new roots. That doesn't seem to want to come off. Well, I don't use black pots. So if I'm not going to use it, we just as well lose it, haven't we? And make life easy. Are you going to tear now? Yes, jelly good. secateurs in here, not, not to break the pots, but to actually take some of the canes off if I need to. Right, now have we got something that will lift out now. I've got to go very careful because I haven't actually got new... Ah, there we go, nicely. So that's a very good pot full of roots. Unfortunately, the centre of the pot is where the media is that I want to take out. Now I have a nice new growth here that will be producing roots if it hasn't started already. Yes, it has. So we've got a new root system coming. And this is the cane that broke off. Yeah, it fell on the floor and it just snapped. And um, that has got new roots coming out of it as well. That's like the previous cane. And then the one before that is this one. Which is, which is bloomed in several places. Go back another one, it's this tall one, plenty of bloom spikes there. And then we get onto these little ones, which I don't want, they're coming off. Um, these little wispy, shrivelly ones. I'll keep that one because it's got a couple of leaves, 
so we will keep that one. So I was just having a quick look. This used to be an absolute scale magnet and um, various things like the, grow the, the uh, hot box and um, all that sort of stuff have sort of sorted the scale out in this place now. I prob I've still got some. I'm I've always said if you've ever had scale then you've probably still got some, you just haven't seen them yet. <laughs> and they may be in very, you know, very small quantities, but they're still possibly lurking and they, and they can still re-energise re and start going again any time really. Now I don't, um, I don't want to actually destroy this root system, but I do want to get it back in a similar sized pot. Which is why I'm trying to get everything out of the middle. Um, quite honestly, the bark that's coming out still looks quite good. This, in theory, could have stayed in its pot. It's too late now. But yeah, the, the bark that's coming out still seems quite reasonable. Let's grab all of this away from that new growth. It's easing out quite nicely though. And I think I'm just going to try and find a clear pot that's the same size and just put it straight back in. Although I will take the back end of the plant off. That's most of the media is out now. It's quite hollow in under there now. So what are we going to do then? We're going to have a look at these roots that go round the pot and see where they start. Just untangling them basically. I don't think it's worth doing too much with these roots. What's putting me off is the top of the pot was, is covered in like moss and algae and doesn't look very pleasant. But as soon as you get like, you know, a centimetre below the surface, you're into some nice media, nice clean media, and nice clean white roots as well. So I think we'll do the minimum disturbance for a change. We'll just... So I'm just trying to make sure I have got everything. It's going to be difficult getting some bark up underneath the plant again, because it's going to have to go up through this gap prior to putting it in its pot. And there's very few roots to, to be able to even take off. But I think what I will do is I will chop some of these at the back end of the plant, like that and then gently pull them and see, see where they come out. Right. Yeah, see there are some, you know, there are some, what I would call tired old roots in the middle of the plant, but they're not dead. So now all I'm going to do is take the back end of the plant off and whatever roots come off with that, so be it. And the back end is these two canes here. Yeah? There's a good reason for this because I want to get it in a different position in the pot because at the moment it's right up against the edge of the pot and consequently the new growth would be bent and squashed. end so I'm, I'm desperately want to put it down and use two hands but I'm worried to death that I'll bash that new growth so I think what we will do is I can see where the back end of the plant is now we'll start trimming the roots until it falls away Yep, that's got it. Now get that out of the way. Now 
I suspect there will be some separated roots in here now, which I will try and tease out. They should just fall away. But um, what we have got is a plentiful root system. And now with the back end of the plant out of the way, I will easily be able to get bark into the, um, into the new place. Just a few uh, off of the back end of the plant that can be snipped. Whoops. Just looking for ones that don't seem to be attached and giving them a tug and when you tug them you can see their source you can see where they're actually coming from and if they're not coming from the plant then they're detached and I think that's possibly about it now Right, oops, there's definitely one there that can come off. I don't see anything else that's uh, shouting out that it needs to be removed. So there's just a few up around the top of the pot that um, became aerial and then the tips died off. But if they get into media they may well start to branch. A little bit of old media tipped up in there. And then we've got our new growth with the root nubbins at the base about to progress, which is what I've been waiting for, was this, this point in time to actually catch the repot when the roots are starting to grow. The reason for that was in case I had a poor root system, as it's never been out of the pot. But obviously I haven't got a poor root system, I've got a good root system. That lot were right up against the edge of the pot, yeah? So they dry almost instantly, yeah? So now they'll go in a pot away from the edge of the pot so that the new growth is not up against the edge of the pot, which will allow them to start growing again. Again, it's a branching root system. We've got little growing tips ready to go here here, oh that's actually a broken root, but there are little root tips ready to start growing once they get into some media and stop being squashed up against the um, edge of the pot. Right, so that's it. Now I've got to try and find the smallest pot I can get that in. It will be smaller than that, so it's going back in a smaller pot. So a lot of people think when they repot an orchid, it has to go in a bigger pot. Oh, it must go in a bigger pot, it's growing. Yeah, well just think about what you may have done to it. You could have split it in half. Well, obviously it doesn't want the same size pot then, does it? Always think about the size of your pot relative to what you're actually planting, not what you started with. As you can see, the root system I started with is nowhere near what I've got now, and it is remotely possible, if that was planted, it would start to grow. It is possible. Let me just have a good look at the root system. All these 
these roots are dead. Is it worth trying? The canes are incredibly shriveled and we've got no leaves. No, it's un it, it, it'll, it'll always struggle and you know, that means I've just got another plant in the grow room struggling. I'm trying to get rid of the ones that are struggling. Right, I shall have a clear up, find a suitable pot for that size root system, and then we'll work out how on earth we're going to get something that big to stand upright. That will be fun. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, let's see what we can do then. I found a pot that's um, almost at what, as wide at the bottom as it is at the top. Um, the top is a bit smaller than the one that this came out of. Not a lot though. Um, but when I said about always putting it in as small as pot as I can, I didn't realise I was going to have such a good root system. So we bear that in mind. The other thing we must bear in mind is the fact that we need to leave it room to grow. So uh, I'm just going to tease the roots in the pot initially. They're all just squeeze in there, not worried about media at the moment. Let's just get the roots in and try and get the plant positioned where I want it, which is about there. And that's going to be brilliant. You'll see why in a minute. Right, now as far as media is concerned, <coughs> this is medium bark, which is what it came out of. But I am going to add a bit of small bark in with it. To make sure we fill all the gaps. Now we've got to start playing because there's a huge big hollow underneath the plant. And that's got to have media in. So we're going to start in the middle. And just wiggle it towards the outside until no more goes in there, and then that bit's full. And there we go. Now, I'm going to try and get a bit down the back, like down there, but it won't be much because um, there won't be too much root growth around the back of the plant. And then we've got to try and push the plant as far over as possible. And in doing so, we get the new growth into the middle of the pot and we open up a gap down there. And we can get some more media in. We will probably end up with a few air gaps, but they will probably be right down the bottom. surface roots. That was a good guess, wasn't it? Right. Now, why did I say that is brilliant? You'll see why in a minute. Because have to stake this. There's a nice long one. Now, can you see where I'm coming from now? Yeah? If I tape this one, let me just uh, nick the edge of the pot, because it's got quite a heavy rim on it. About there. Now the stick will push that in now, like that. 
then we should. So I'm just checking that everything's in position. If I stake that one like that, the other cane with the leaves on is doing exactly the same thing the other side of the pot. In other words, it's arching out over the edge, which puts it in a perfect position to actually be staked with the stake on the outside of the pot. It is going to be a bit of a problem now that the plant is in the pot and wants to fall over. So if we put it back there against the glass, then we can get our uh, duct tape and get the first stake on. So what I'm going to do with this is something a little bit different. Just bet, judge whereabouts it needs to go and then put the duct tape on the stake. Then we'll put the stake on the pot. Thought I might get that wrong. Let's go lower down. That's better. Obviously, the duct tape needs to be lower than the um, than the rim of the pot. Otherwise, <laughs> it's just not going to work, is it? All right. So that's one stake. Now let's get the plant clipped on because I need to turn the pot round now so that I can get it the other side. Ah. Now what we've got now is um, clips that are too big and clips that are too small. How about that one? So we've got two joined together here that won't let go. Come on. Okay. Now is that is that too small? Oops. I think it might be. Yeah, it's too small. Then we go to quite a bit bigger after that one. Well, it's not going to slide down simply because there's a leaf there, isn't there? So it can't go anywhere, so it's still going to hold the plant. And then we can just put another one a bit higher up. So we'll have to look out for some, uh, some more of these clips at some point. And we put another one there. And that, that holds the plant roughly right. But... If I now do the same thing with this cane on this side of the plant, we really have got hold of it then. So have I got another long cane in here? I don't think I have. No. We'll have to go in there. We'll have to go in here and get one then. Playtime. So that's the, uh, the glass rim around the um, light up there. Just ding that. So we'll make our little slit again that, that we'll push out of the way. Get our piece of duct tape. find it again next time. Right, now we need right near the bottom. Right there. And force that into the little groove and stick it down. There we go. There we can go. 
get some clips on here. We're then holding it from two sides so it's not going to go anywhere. It'll be fine then. doesn't appear to be doing much but uh, things can move over time and then because all, these are to hold the plant still rather than hold the canes upright you see what I mean the purpose is not to hold the canes upright they're going to do that naturally that's how they grow from the plant they're to actually stop the plant from falling over so it's to keep the plant upright and um, yeah, I think that's actually okay. I think we're okay. And then what I'm going to do, shock horror, to make it look pretty, all these roots that are sticking out the top, I'm going to cut off. Because I can see their ends, so, you know, if there are growing roots down in the pot, then they will uh, branch lower down. And they'll just make the pot look a lot nicer, I'm not having a load of roots sticking out. There we go. Right. Now, we have to make our decisions on what to do next as regards watering. This is in brand new bark. Oh dear. And there's, um, so, yeah, it does hold the plant in the pot and it does hold the pot upright, but it's still capable of toppling. So we need to get this pot back in the clay pot. Yeah? So let's see if I can do that quickly. Luckily it didn't upset it too much. It's also, where did I get to? Yes, watering. Um, the pot was dry when it was um, taken out of the pot, so these roots are dry. They're not swollen up, they're not hydrated, they're dry. And the bark that it's just gone in is brand new. Brand new bark is dry. That's how I pot. I pot dry. Now, I don't think... Will you jam in there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's got it. <laughs> Just going to tip it over that way a bit. Checking its balance. Yes. And then when it gets a good soak, obviously the base of the plant will then be heavier. So that'll be good. So I just need a bit more uh, media there. Just to cover those roots in. Yeah, I think we're okay. So a good soak now. And then in a couple of days time another good soak because the um, the bark will take the moisture straight away from the roots when it's new like that. So you, ha you have to water things quite a bit more frequently if they're just in bark and it's new bark. Yeah? And especially with a pot full of dry roots. So, uh, yes, but this is... You know, this is not far off a metre tall, this one. So uh, I wonder how big the latest growth will get. The one that's um, just growing now. Would have been nice to have had two, but one will do. <laughs> so there we go. I can't get the cam camera far enough back to get the whole plant in. But um, it's uh, there's no buds or anything at the moment. It's, um, it's coming into vegetative, vegetative growth. Um, this cane... Let me just lift the camera up because I'm talking about the top of the plant now. I got the top of the plant in. I can't see what on earth I'm doing here. Bright light. There we go, that's the top of the plant. Yes, so this cane will probably not bloom again and it hasn't got any leaves. I could have taken it off. This shorter cane over here has a couple of leaves that are going to drop soon. But they're still storage organs at the end of the day. You know, they, they, they are still canes that are part of the plant. 
And then this one, which was about nine inches longer than this, that was the last one I grew, I believe. Um, yeah, should have bloomed, but didn't because the whole top of the cane was taken off, which is where the buds form. Um, infundibulum can bloom away from the apex of the cane, but not too far down. Um, probably not any lower than about a third from the top. As you can see on this cane, the cluster of buds here, but there was an odd one here. Yeah? So, uh, who knows what this cane will do having lost its top. It may never bloom. It may do. Who knows? So there we go. A bit of a fiddly one. Um, sh purely because of its, not so much its size, its height. <laughs> You know, I mean, if you think cymbidiums are this big sometimes, you know, with a mass of leaves like that, but they don't feel as clumsy to repot as this was. Because, you know, it's constantly trying to fall over. So, uh, right, we'll get that watered, get that back where it goes. And, um, oh, there was something I was going to say. What was it? Oh, yes. This is important, this is. What has to be finished by Friday? Absolutely must be finished by Friday. Well, Thursday, of course. See you next time.